Welcome to the My Profile section of your account. You can find this by going to the settings and hovering down to My Profile just below Business Profile. Once you're inside of this section, you'll see a couple of boxes that you will need to fill out. You also have areas that you can come back in future dates to make changes to your personal account. First things first is the personal data. Profile image can be adjusted here by clicking on the profile image and uploading a file with the proposed size and file size. Next, you can adjust your first, last name, your email, and phone number. The email and phone number are important parts of your account because they will send you an OTP code to your email or to your phone number depending on which way you're choosing to log in. Next, you can add an extension and below that, you have the ability to select a calendar. This may or may not show any details depending on if you have a calendar set up. The calendar is the default booking calendar for your personal account. Each user can select primary calendar in which they get booked through. This will affect and impact workflows, automations, and other parts of the account when you send out your calendar. You can then choose the platform location language. Below this, you have the ability to enable a signature on all outgoing messages. You can customize this completely by using custom code if you'd like to. Last but not least, you can include the signature before quoted text in your replies. Next, you have this button that says Update Profile. Once you have made the appropriate changes, click on Update Profile, and then you will receive the ability to fill in OTP to change the email ID of the user. Next, let's hover over the change password section. Here, you can fill in your current password, your new password, and then repeat the new password that you would like to change to. Once filled in, you can click on update password. Below this, you have email two-way sync. Here, you can connect and sync incoming and outgoing emails between your CRM and your personal email account. You can then select your email provider, whether it's Gmail, or Outlook. Once you select your email provider, click on connect. Once you have signed in to your preferred email provider for email two-way sync, click on update availability. Through here, you may have the ability to set up auto BCC when you have your email provider selected. Below this, you have calendar settings. Here you can connect a calendar. If you have no connections, click on add new and you can select between a Google Calendar, Outlook, iCloud, Calendly, and for video conferencing, you have the ability to add Zoom. To log into your account for any one of these, click on the Connect button, and either a pop-up in a new tab or within the same tab will guide you through the ability to connect your calendar. Once you've connected your calendar, exit out of the pop-up, and you will see your connected calendar in this section and you can make appropriate adjustments based on the settings available. The same thing occurs for video conferencing. Click on add new, click on connect to Zoom and log into your personal account to help generate unique meeting links for your calendar settings. Below this, you have user availability. You can select your preferred meeting location, move it from custom, connect with Zoom. If you have your Google account connected, you can click on Google Meet. You can select a full address or a phone number as your preferred meeting location. Next, select your time zone as your default calendar will reference this time zone setting that you send out to make sure that people book at the right time. Below this, select on your available hours. You can either select all or select independent days in which you are available and go below and edit individual days for selected times. To make it easier, once you have made an adjustment, you can then click on copy and it'll copy and duplicate that setting for the rest of the days. Once you're happy with all your settings, click on update availability. The next part of my profile are notifications. Hover up to the very top and click on notifications. Here you have several options. On the right hand side, you will see the type and area that you will receive the notification, 
whether it is in-app, an email, or an SMS. And on the left-hand side, you will see the type of notification and where you're being notified from. Some of these options may or may not be visible to your account. For conversation notifications, you can notify or choose to notify all new conversation messages initiated with the account and choose where those notifications go. Next, you can notify when a conversation gets assigned to you as a unique user. Next, you can look at notifying for new messages on a conversation that you're assigned to. Below this, you have the ability to adjust your task notifications, whether they get assigned to you. You can also set a reminder in a set amount of time, whether it's minutes, hours, or days, to get a reminder for upcoming tasks. You can enable this for email, for SMS, or disable it altogether by unchecking all boxes. You can then send a daily summary of due tasks at a set time, as well as overdue tasks at a set time. For WordPress, if enabled on your account, you can notify when a new WordPress service is launched. On Facebook, you can notify when a new review is received, and same details are available for Google. Once you're happy with your notification settings, click on save in the bottom right hand corner of your account.